Atlanta Plugged In starts now. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Atlanta Plugged In. I'm Julie Smith. Well, in addition to getting ourselves in shape in the new year, it's also a great idea to make over your closet and wardrobe. I know some of you are like, oh, but you have some help. Here to show us how to determine what to keep, what to sell, and how to create an entirely new wardrobe, wardrobe personal stylist Rob Ann Schulman and fashion blogger Emily Fogarty are here, and they're going to tell us just where to start, because I think that's what a lot of people, you know, has, they're just overwhelmed when they open those closet daunting. doors. Yeah. It's daunting, but it's right. really not that hard. I mean, all you have to do <laughs> it's a simple little list. Get in that closet, take a, you know, assess everything that you have, and t think about it. If you haven't worn it in a year, toss it. Right. If you love it, keep it. If you wear it, keep it. Right. If it doesn't fit, toss it. Okay. I mean, there's okay. just easy. That's, see, even hearing you say that, I'm like, okay, we can do this. The more we you can, can do, do this. Like the, and you can go and you know, do it one week. And then take a break. I think if it's it, kind of like maybe breaking do it the seal. In step break. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Just do it in steps because it is very overwhelming. Sure. I know. And I think a lot of people watching, you know, they they might have heard those rules before, but they're thinking, well, I haven't worn it in a year, but if I ever oh. find the perfect pair of <laughs> shoes, I'll go with this. The time, or <laughs> if I lose like ten, yeah, I'm pounds, gonna get back into this. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, you know, the best thing you can do is go into your closet and make easy, like dressing easier every day. Okay. So go into your closet and. And just if you can just take everything out that you know you're absolutely never gonna wear again or okay. if it doesn't fit if you love it keep it you know yeah it's, it's that simple okay but I know that everyone's like mm, I don't know <laughs> maybe put a maybe pile there you go okay like baby steps uh, yes for the baby steppers yeah if they're because I have clients who are like I'm done get it out and then I have clients who are like oh, let's okay be, uh. and so baby steps for depending on how you are and like how ready that. you are Okay, a maybe pile. I like to that. Make a yeah, change. kind of ease into this. Yeah. So, uh, and Emily, I know that yeah. you, you probably blog about so many different things. Yes. Um, and I want to get to what's here, what you've brought here with you on the table. But quickly, as a blogger, is this something that you? A lot of people come to you saying, "I don't know how to make what I have in my closet work. I've got things I don't wear that are hanging in there." What do people tell you? Yeah, it's a lot of um, just trying to find the best pair of jeans or the best top. Um, and then how do I work that into my wardrobe? So yeah. I try, my blog, I try to kind of put unexpected things together uh -huh. so that people can say, oh, I didn't know I could wear it that way. Yeah, or And that's kind of how I teach them. Um, and I do get a lot of, you know, response yeah. from that. A so. second set of yeah. eyes. Yes, always exactly. Yes. It's just the okay. best friend. It's just another friend. We yeah. just don't know each other. All right, so you're going to help us figure out uh, some good ways to uh, get rid of some of these extra things we don't need, and always better if we can make a little moolah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right. That's the best thing about yeah. it. Right now, there's this new app out, and it's called Shop Snap It. Lots Shop of celebrities are on there, socialites, huh. and they're selling pieces from their closet. And the most amazing thing about it is that they're donating proceeds to their favorite charity. Oh, that's fantastic. Shopping yeah. and going to a great cause. It's a win-win. Exactly. Yeah. An yeah. absolute win-win. So I put some things from my closet on there. Okay. And I chose the Alzheimer's Foundation and... You know, oh, and you, okay, so you individually you can choose the charity that it's going to. Yes. Oh, that yes. is fantastic. Absolutely. I love that. So if you have something that's close to your heart, then absolutely, definitely. Oh, that pick is great. That and then you feel great about making money and giving money. That's out. right. That's right. Philanthropy and shopping. Absolutely. I love it. Now, what is this that you brought with you? Because I, okay. I have a favorite already. Because I know, here. right? Let okay. me just go ahead and. This is one of my keepers after I edited my closet. Yeah. So this is oh. an investment piece. So you definitely want to keep pieces that you've put some money in so too. cute and it's isn't it fabulous it's great it is awesome it is. and I, I have this. some other pieces that you know with you. leather jackets that you know this one is amazing it's a, almost year-round oh, that is gorgeous. so I have worn it probably eight months out of the year this year okay and this is something I would definitely keep because it's very versatile I put it over cocktail pieces and I put it with jeans okay so and it's lightweight so living in Atlanta I try to teach my clients to wear things that are seamless Purchase more things that are seasonless and because right after it snowed, it was seven. Right, make more of an investment purchase yes. rather than a fad. Absolutely. Or, yeah. I okay. mean, you can make a few of the fad purchases, but don't spend a right. lot of money on those. Okay. Save gotcha. your money for the good pieces. All right. <laughs> like that. And what are some other good tips or good thing examples that you have here of, uh, you know, I see the jeans here. That's a big thing for every everybody. Yes. I'm yes. just saying, yes. woman, I mean, everybody. Hello, I'm wearing jeans right now. Right. right. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, everybody's got to find that jean that fits them well, that they love, yeah. and what they need in their personal wardrobe. And it just depends on everyone's lifestyle. Yeah. But, yeah, you've got to find the one that fits you the best and 
You don't need 20 pairs of jeans. Exactly, right. just that few pair that fits right. And I will say, I, you know, the cut changes quite often. I just had to throw that in there. So remember when the wide legs were a thing or the bell bottoms? Yes, Take them to the tailor. Ta then make oh. them... Yeah, straight when it becomes a oh, thing. Yeah, alterations yeah. are key. Yeah, I mean, I find tell a good tailor all the time. Just, just put the money into it, and then you're ending up saving money in the long run. So find a good tailor, make some decisions and some commitments, and then get a hold of these two because they can help you out. <laughs> and guys, to look at more options for your wardrobe, just log on to shopsaroundlinux.com or plaidmonkey.com.